opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast, now that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right, I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the East Gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Carava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return.
still plenty of fights in them, yes. off my hands the better. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. <gasps> oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. How are those new boots treating you? You there! Uh, the... Finally! No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? 
You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Uh, three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. A people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. How are those new boots treating you? That Cyril fellow's an odd fish, don't you think? Well, scholarly thoughts like him always are, aren't they? No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. These stones to Canva, and the rest of the boxes to Dalamil. Mm. Not a scratch on them. Have you noticed the elder has been coughing less? Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder. Thank you for the deal, Ed, mister. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? 
the engraving to the north is next, I think. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs and Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the Hunters, now dancing hand in hand. That can't be right, surely. I'd rather suspect it's not. Children of the Hunters, now sworn to serve the sun. Sun worship? That cannot possibly be right. I could have sworn it was something like that. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so... We add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here... And thank you. What's happened? Not... You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. You're welcome any time. If we're going to do this, we'll need help. Um, Clive? Your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army, too, is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? 
Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed? Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find a village in Cherdra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Look what we have here. All right, then. Let's get this over with.
close, Toggle.
Clive. Coin purse weighing you down. Finished, are you? What do I owe the honor? What do you want? Anything else? 